Welcome back to Budget with V. My name is V and I'm a 26 year old Australian who makes budgeting and cash stuffing videos here on YouTube. Today's video, I will be going over a little bit of happy mail that I have received, as well as a little bit of an overview of one of my new binder setups. So I hope today's video is okay with sound and lighting. I'm a little bit um, closer in today just because I'm filming this at lunch and I don't want to unpack my desk for work um, to do this. So I've just sort of made it a bit of a smaller space and I've got the heater growing because it is freezing here at the moment. Um, so hopefully everything's okay, but let's get straight into it. The first thing I wanted to show you was a really, really lovely gift that I got sent um, from the lovely Lily over at Boss Girl Budgets. She sent, um, hi V, just wanted to send a little gift to say thank you for your support on my channel and all the shout outs. Keep inspiring others and happy saving Lily, Boss Girl Budgets. I will link her down below. She makes YouTube videos and has an Etsy shop. And I actually just bought from her shop last night, um, but this was a complete surprise and oh my God, I couldn't believe it. She made me V's spa day. Look at it, it's so cute. This, honestly, oh, thank you so, so much, Lily. Oh, you did not need to do this, but thank you so, so much. So this one, so exciting, is going to go onto my savings challenge folder. And it's going to replace the little one that I made myself. So I just... <laughs> I just drew this one up on a piece of paper, but this one is so much cooler. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute. So I get to color a 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And what I'm going to actually do is condense it and do one of the bonuses because I don't usually put 20 in here. Um, I might still do the hot pink because I did like the hot pink. Get that. So... What did I say? 35. So. Oh, it's beautiful. And this way I can just keep redoing it because it, I think, will add up to the same. Yeah, it will add up to the 160 that I need. Oh, thank you so much, Lily. Okay, that's not the best colouring, but there's the 20 done. So then we've got 35. So we've got five of these fives. Five, ten. Oh my god, I'm so bad at coloring. Oh, look at that! It's so cute. Thank you so much, Lily. I love it. Let me just dry that off. There we go. Oh, I love it. Okay, so. So we've got 35 in there. Perfect. All right. Now I did create some other just little challenges that I drew up myself um, to go in here. I've got the 175 and I've just done some random circles. And I've also made a save 100. I don't know if I'm going to start these straight away. I was just having fun the other night. It's more for fun than <laughs> in a thing. They're not super profesh, but that's okay. Ah, oh, I just love that little spa challenge. It's so cute. Look at it. All right, so we'll put those. Oh, sorry, we'll put those ones away, and now we've got a proper challenge in there, which is so cute. Um, I've also created a new little envelope here for cruise. So this is for spending money on the cruise, and I'm just going to add here and there to that um just to bulk out my own spending money oh my god i keep hitting the camera so what else did i get recently that i have not shown you i think everything else that i haven't shown you is in this new binder now this is my future baby savings binder it's in here i've got this one here so um 
you would have seen this already. I've just got a little bit of a new setup in terms of the order and what I'm doing with each envelope. So these envelopes, this envelope here is from Boss Girl Budgets, Lily. Um, and I've just ordered, I think, two more because she was having a bit of a sale because she's not going to stock this pattern anymore. Um, so I've got two more to go into this folder. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use those for, but I just couldn't leave them. <laughs> um, so I've got this little baby savings challenge in here, which each dummy is $5. So I've got 300 in there so far, and that's going to save 600. And then I got these challenges. Let me get them out. So I bought these four challenges on Etsy and it came with a bonus little challenge. And these are from House of Adebo on Etsy and I'll link their shop below. But they have these really cute um, saving challenges and they're usually in pounds, but I asked her to change it to dollars. Um, so it comes with milk money, baby save, save baby save 500 and it's like a 31 envelope challenge. Nappy fund, which I'm going to do next, and I'm going to make each nappy $10 and to save $400 so that I get that plus my $600 of the other one will add up to $1,000. Then a $1,000 Oh Baby challenge, which I think I'll do after. And then a bonus little popping bottles challenge, which is super cute. So I've got this one to do next, the nappy fund. So that will go in to this envelope once this is complete. So what I'm going to planning to do is once I finish one challenge, so say I finish this challenge, I've got $300 in here, then that will transfer into this envelope, which is a new envelope I got from um, is it? Here it is. Oh, Cash Queens Australia. I've got the package in here. Um, Cash Queens Australia. They made me these lovely envelopes I love them and that will transfer into here once it's complete so then this will be like um, where all the challenges feed into that I do so first I'll be doing this one and I've got this one to go after then at the same time as that I've got the monthly challenges that I'm going to start to do, or you might have seen that I've actually already started doing these. And these I've got every month of the year. And I got these from Budget with Shah as a digital download. And I got them without the pound symbols. So they come with each month a little savings challenge. And they're so cute. October, November. Oh, my God. November, December, January, February, March, April, so cute, May, and then back to there. So at the moment, obviously, I'm doing June, and each one saves, I think, 75 or 70 sometimes. I'm not exactly sure. So as I do them, they'll feed into these envelopes here. So I've got month one, and they're envelopes all the way up to month six and what my purpose of doing that is is that these months are for each month that I want to save a little chunk of money to go towards when I'm hopefully one day on maternity leave so with my job I'll get um, just like the base sort of uh, minimum wage from Centrelink I think if I go on maternity leave for around four or five months maybe depending when it happens because I think they're increasing it over the next few years so if we wait a few more years and to have a child or try to have a child then that will be um, more but either way it's only going to be a max of six months so I want to potentially go off work for like a whole year is my preference so if I can just try to save up a little chunk of money for each month just to con be able to um, sort of help with bills and that sort of thing um, alongside whatever Josh earns during those times. So what my plan is, is I'm going to do two of these monthly challenges into each month. <laughs> so that's two. So that should be $150 into each month. 
Now, obviously that's not going to go that far <laughs> with bills each month, but um, it's just a start because it's not like the big, the only priority we've got at the moment to save this. But hopefully, in a, like as we keep doing this over the next few years, um, year or two years, three years, I don't know, um, then this can really build up. And obviously, pref the preference is to have as much as possible. Um, but I'd love to have like a thousand in each of these, even, and then um, maybe like four, oh, two to four thousand in just savings for it. So. Obviously that's really high and not that attainable. And I've been a bit scared to save for that because it's such a big goal. So to make it more manageable, I thought this was a fun way to sort of try and save little chunks. And it's just like five, $10 into each little category, but it all adds up. Sorry, this is so tight. So I've got so far $15 in there and this one, I've done that oh, so cute and then I've also got one more envelope which is just other now I've got a freebie challenge with that my order which was Valentine's Day I love this which I'll do next year for Valentine's Day and I'm just keeping it in there for some reason I uh, should probably take that out yeah so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do this this one but it might be just like little bits and pieces I don't know when it's eventually there um like closer to it so then I'll know what I want to use that for but yeah that's my new little binder set up and I'm super pleased with it I've got some more of these envelopes coming which I might use for um, the challenges as I keep going I think they'll be cute but yeah so that's that the last thing I wanted to do today is just to fill out my coin challenge so I actually condensed this recently because I wanted to get rid of some of these larger ones. So in here, um, I've done all the fives and all the 450s and I still have, for this week, I've two, four, six, eight, nine, 40, 80, $10, 20, 30, 40, 10 dollars 45 i'm just going to round that up to 1050 because i know i've put an extra at least five cents in previously so that's 1050 so let's do two of the fours get rid of them that's eight that's two dollars fifty left so let's do a 250. I really want to get this and the roll the dice challenge completed as soon as possible because this is going to feed into our cruise fund and we don't aren't able to save as much as I'd hoped at the moment until um, some other bills are paid so this will really help if we can get this done quick so that's done it's all done I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you again to boss girl budgets um, Lily Thank you so, so much. I really love the challenge and thank you. You didn't have to do that. Um, please check her out and I'll catch you again next time. Bye.